Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for November 13th through the 19th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saggy. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Pentacles. There's movement here forward. It's pretty slow um, in a particular situation. Let's see here. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups. Okay, trying to figure out how the hell to find happiness for yourself, possibly attached to another, but mostly for yourself here. And there's a whole lot of overthinking there. Uh, it's like trying out different methods. Okay, we'll try this. Let's see if it brings happiness. Mm, not really. Okay, we'll try this. Okay. Mm, maybe. Okay, we'll keep it there for a little bit. Let, let's try this too. Let's, you know. Um, I feel like this comes with an energy of instant gratification where it's like, okay, let's try this. And, and if in five minutes it doesn't bring happiness, then fuck this. You know, not to that extent. I kind of exaggerate sometimes for you to get it. Um, to get what, I, what I'm seeing here, what I mean. But... It could be that, yeah, it, it carries a little bit of instant gratification kind of energy to it. In the current situation, uh, the Three of Wands, the Magician, the Fool, you've been manifesting something for quite a while. Maybe that's why there's this kind of rush to it, like, okay, come on now. But this is the one thing that you keep on manifesting and you haven't given up on. So I don't know what it is yet. I'll have to, to look into that when we clarify, but it's looking like something you've been wanting for quite a while that you seem that you would be open to when it does show up, like fully open. In the immediate future, the Queen of Swords, the Chariot, the Two of Pentacles. Uh, this is looking like one of those energies of, you know, the universe is right there with you, kind of guiding you through something. And I feel like you're picking up the signs, you're going with it, you're like, okay, okay, I know exactly what to do and where to go. Um, but it feels like at some point you, you kind of lose the insight. You kind of lose sight of the universe, basically. You're kind of like, okay, I'm seeing the synchronicity. I'm seeing everything falling into place. Uh, and then it's like, okay, I'm lost. What, what was I doing? Where was I going? Oh, I think I know. Oh, fuck, I lost it. Okay. Like, what? kind of like, what, why is this all being shown to me? Because it's not leading me, you know? kind of that energy but let's um let's clarify let me see the knight of pentacles two of swords nine of cups eight of swords my god there's so much overthinking in this one uh when all you're trying to do is kind of calm yourself down and reach that place of balance within yourself and you're all up here like almost like i i can't get myself out of my head you know or i'm, I'm just trying to chill for a minute to, to kind of give myself a break from that because i'm tired like i need i need some balance here you know uh so for now it's looking like you've been trying for quite a while to balance yourself out and it's been possibly unsuccessful here. Um, let's do the Page of Pentacles in the recent past. King of Wands, the Tower, the Knight of Wands. I see you, as I said recently when I looked over these energies. So I see you trying out, you know, different situations different things that you may have thought oh this is going to be good for me and things like that um i see some of those things failing miserably in there being like oh no definitely not not a good direction for me but i also see you not giving up you know you kind of okay we'll do this again you know let's, let's try in a different direction let's let's go at it so i don't see these things taken away from you too much because there you are being like okay well let's it is taken away in a little bit of, okay, I failed at that for a little bit there, but let's try again, you know? So that's a good energy right there. 
or the Eight of Swords, you get the Four of Cups, the Sun, the King of Pentacles. See, I see you linger at times, being in this energy of feeding this energy of, okay, I failed at this. Oh, bummer. So sometimes you do have the tendency to just sit with that for a little too long and just feed that energy, but then you pick it right back up. So you do have the ability to, okay, you know, let's not lose sight of what we're searching for here, which ultimately is happiness. And it is tied up to a sense of, uh, kind of your own stability, you know? So you're trying to make something for yourself there to create something for yourself. I feel like eventually you did it and you're still probably working on it, but definitely kind of juggling with this energy here and there being like, let's try this, let's try that. Let's try all sorts of things. For the 10 of cups, you get the six of wands, the world card, the hierophant. Yeah, this is just achieving a sense of, okay, I think I did it. I think I found something or someone even, because I do see the possibility of someone being included in these energies that speaks to me, that resonates with me. But then you want to go deeper and you want bigger, and you, which is normal. You know, it's progress. So... I see you getting something there, something almost more than you asked for or what you thought you asked for uh, in terms of better at some point. I don't know if it's stuck, but you definitely got something here. You know, where initially you went after something which in your head was, okay, this would offer me something good for myself. It would help me develop, it would help me grow. And then I see you sinking in deep into something there that really helped you grow and develop in ways that you probably didn't even know existed for you or were available for you. Um, and that one could be tied up to a person too in the way it showed up, in the, in the way the universe delivered for you. Let's do the Three of Wands in the current situation. The Eight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups. Okay, so there's a soul connection attached to this one for sure. You've been waiting for something to happen here. I see this connection kind of coming through energetically in a beautiful way. Uh, but I see you waiting in the physical um, for something, something to come through when it comes to the situation. Like normally I would look at this energy if I weren't to, if I weren't seeing the bigger picture of this and I would be like, oh, okay, so you probably sent a message in someone's way and you're waiting for the response. That could be the case too. But I feel like there's a bigger picture to this than that. Um, let's do the Magician. The Queen of Swords, the Justice card, the Two of Cups. Yeah, you do want this to stick. You do want this with you. What do you want here? I see you wanting this soul connection to work out. Pretty determined on what you want for, not only for yourself, but for this connection. You're manifesting something tied up to this connection, but it has to do with, I don't think it's an immediate, oh, I want me and them to be together forever. And eh, I feel like it's a little bigger than that. It's, there's something more to it. Let's do the full. There's a bigger picture to this. The Seven of Cups, the King of Swords, the Queen of Cups. In the immediate manifestation, you might actually, yeah, you might actually want, okay, I want for this connection to work out so that we can live happily ever after. And, um, but there is a sense of a bigger picture attached to it where it's beyond that. It's beyond, oh, me and them together forever. And there's something bigger here, which you're not seeing yet either but you're definitely manifesting it in that way. So when it's going to be revealed, that's when you're going to know. For now, you're not seeing it. You're not showing it to me. The universe is not showing it to me either. I just see something as bigger than this, you know? Uh, the energies look good. The energy you're carrying for this, the vision you have for this, the manifestation, everything looks lined up. But again, even though in your head it could be like, oh, okay, so we're going to be together forever. There's a bigger picture to this, you know? 
Let's do the Queen of Swords. Yeah, there it is. In the immediate future, the Star, the Ten of Pentacles, the Fool. Yeah, that's the bigger picture. You're getting from here, which is, again, almost like instant gratification. Okay, maybe we'll end up together. And, oh, it's happening. Yay, great. Um, and then you're giving me the sense of further into the future in a much stable kind of energy that surrounds the situation. And you're like, hell yeah, I'm all up for that. Because I manifested it, even though I didn't, I don't even know that I did. Okay, so there's something building up here. From small to big. Small. It's not small, you know, this whole energy of, okay, so you're coming together, but it's developing into something bigger that you probably don't even expect, don't even know. For the chariot, you get the lovers, the two of pentacles, the knight of swords. This is big. This is big and it gets confusing at some point because, again, how do I put this? You're starting from something simple in this. You're starting from something, this is nice, this is working out, we're coming together, we're building something nice, beautiful, right? And then something shows up as deeper than this, bigger than this, which might throw you off because it's like, uh-oh. This is quite intense. Like, what the hell is going on here? So I see two energies coming together to, to create something nice, but something unexpected at the same time for both parties, especially for you, because I'm reading you right now. But as confusing as it's going to get at some point, I still see you being like, okay, fuck it. We're going in. Let's do this, you know? So the bigger picture is going to be revealed sooner than later here. That's a nice reading. Um, for the two of pentacles, you get the six of swords, the three of swords, the ace of swords. It's going to be quite challenging. Yes, it's going to develop into something nicer, deeper, more meaningful. All of that into the bigger picture. But it's not going to be as pretty all the time. Sometimes it's going to be challenging as hell. And it's going to bring out some stuff for you that you may need to look at. Because I see you not wanting to look at that. Uh, some pain, some insecurity, some this, that, and the other. And I see you pushing through but not looking at those things necessarily. Which might cause a little bit of a hardship along the way. As you get to that place of, okay, now I know what this is and what, why this was in my life. And it showed up in the way that it did, you know. When you get to the bigger picture place, you're not there yet. You're going in that direction. And as things are going to be revealed to you through this journey, you may have the tendency to not look at that and just to push through. But then coming out at the end of that pushing through, very, very confused. So kind of, this is meant to, to bring out some stuff for you to heal, to look at. And you have the tendency to not do that. So, yes, you may, when you see the bigger picture, you may be like, okay, let's go, let's do this. But try to look at what it's bringing up for you as well, even if it's not pretty. Because I feel like that's probably the goal of this as well. So, okay, let's see what the universe has to close it off for you. The Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. You got the okay from the universe. Everything is developing in the way that it should, in the smaller picture of things. It's heading into the direction of the bigger picture. Uh, it's not there yet. It won't be for a while, I feel like. And don't even worry about it until you get there, because these are beautiful energies. If this is showing up for you and you embody these energies in this dynamic, have fun with it. Super nice, you know? Swim in them, uh, them as much as you can. And when the bigger picture comes into play, take care of it then but don't run from things that it's going to try to expose like some sort of pain you're carrying some sort of wound it's bringing up things that are feeling not so pleasant at times because this is supposed to do that as well so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye